Welcome. We will start with some basic questions and then go in detail. First question, what is gravimetric analysis? Answer is, gravimetric analysis is a quantitative analytical method where the amount of an analyte is determined by measuring the mass of a solid precipitate formed. It is widely used to calculate the concentration of a substance in a sample based on its mass. Very important question, what are the important steps in performing gravimetric analysis? Here are the six important steps for performing gravimetric analysis. Step 1. Sample preparation. The sample is prepared for analysis by dissolving it in a suitable solvent and adjusting the pH to ensure the complete precipitation of the analyte. Step 2. Precipitation. A reagent is added to the sample solution to cause the desired analyte to precipitate out of solution as a solid. Third step. Filtration. The precipitate is filtered from the solution. Fourth step. Washing. The precipitate is washed with a suitable solvent to remove any impurities that may be adhering to it. Fifth step, drying. The precipitate is dried to remove any remaining solvent. And sixth, very important and last step, weighing. The dried precipitate is weighed to determine its mass, which is then used to calculate the amount of the analyte in the original sample. Next question, what is application of gravimetric analysis in pharmaceutical industry? Application of gravimetric analysis in the pharmaceutical industry includes assay of active pharmaceutical ingredients that is APIs in quality control in determination of impurities and regulatory compliance. Basic and very frequently asked question what are the types of gravimetric analysis? Volatilization gravimetric analysis and precipitation gravimetric analysis are the commonly used gravimetric analysis techniques. In volatilization gravimetric analysis, analyte is converted into volatile substance, whereas in case of precipitation gravimetric analysis, analyte is precipitated as a solid compound filtered, washed, dried, and weighed. Other two methods are electrogravimetry and thermometric analysis. In electrogravimetry, analyte is deposited on a solid electrode, whereas in case of thermometric analysis, analyte's reaction with a reagent produces a temperature change. How is a precipitate is typically formed in gravimetric analysis? Precipitate is typically formed by addition of precipitant, nucleation, crystal growth, precipitation or by aging. Why is it important to ensure complete precipitation in gravimetric analysis? Ensure complete precipitation in gravimetric analysis to prevent errors in the calculated amount of analyte. Incomplete precipitation can lead to underestimation of the analyte concentration affecting the accuracy of the analysis. For what purpose gravimetric analysis technique can be used? Gravimetric analysis technique can be used for determination of mass of substance, determination of concentration of solution, determination of purity of a substance, moisture content determination and ash content determination. What is the role of filtration in gravimetric analysis? Filtration in gravimetric analysis is used to separate the precipitated analyte from the remaining solution ensuring accurate mass determination. Gravimetric analysis and volumetric analysis are the very commonly used analytical techniques in the pharma industry. Question is, what is difference between gravimetric analysis and volumetric analysis? With the following four features, we can easily differentiate between gravimetric analysis and volumetric analysis. First, principle. The principle of gravimetric analysis is mass measurement of precipitate, whereas the principle of volumetric analysis is volume measurement of standard solution. The methods used in gravimetric analysis are precipitation, filtration and weighing, whereas in case of volumetric analysis, it is titration. In case of gravimetric analysis, calculation is done based on the mass of precipitate whereas in case of volumetric analysis, calculation is done based on volume of standard solution. The accuracy level of gravimetric analysis is considered generally higher whereas in case of volumetric analysis, accuracy level is considered comparatively lower as compared to the gravimetric analysis. What are the advantages of gravimetric analysis? Here, four major advantages of gravimetric analysis are mentioned. First advantage, high accuracy. Second advantage, it requires simple equipments. Third advantage, less calibration is needed in case of gravimetric analysis. And fourth, its wide applicability. What are the disadvantages or limitations of gravimetric analysis? 
Gravimetric analysis technique is time consuming as it involves the multiple steps including precipitation and filtration. Second limitation, labor intensive. Gravimetric analysis technique requires careful handling of precipitates. Third limitation, this gravimetric analysis technique is less precise for small amounts and fourth limitation is this technique is not suitable for all analytes as it is limited for the analytes that form precipitates. Co-precipitation and post-precipitation both are the important concepts in gravimetric analysis. Question is what is difference between co-precipitation and post-precipitation? With the following four features we can easily understand the concept of co-precipitation and post-precipitation and differentiate between them. The important feature to differentiate between them is timing. Co-precipitation occurs simultaneously with the formation of the primary precipitate whereas post-precipitation occurs after the formation of the primary precipitate. What is difference between microgravimetry and macrogravimetric analysis? Macrogravimetric analysis involves working with larger sample sizes typically in grams and using standard laboratory equipment whereas microgravimetric analysis works with much smaller sample sizes typically in milligrams or micrograms and requires specialized techniques and equipment to handle the delicate samples. Important question how is the purity of the precipitate ensured in gravimetric analysis? The purity of the precipitate in gravimetric analysis is ensured by minimizing co-precipitation and post-precipitation through careful control of precipitation conditions and thorough washing of the precipitate. Why is drying or igniting the precipitate necessary in gravimetric analysis? Drying or igniting the precipitate in gravimetric analysis is necessary to remove any residual solvent or impurities that may be present, ensuring that the final mass measured is solely that of the analyte. This step is crucial for obtaining accurate and precise results. Basic but important what type of balance is required for gravimetric analysis? Analytical balance with high degree of precision and sensitivity are required for gravimetric analysis to ensure accurate mass measurements. Share some examples of gravimetric analysis in the pharmaceutical industry. First, chloride, precipitated as silver chloride. Second, sulfate, precipitated as barium sulfate. Third, calcium, precipitated as calcium oxalate. What is gravimetric factor? Gravimetric factor is the ratio of the molar mass of the analyte to the molar mass of the precipitate. What are the ideal properties or features of precipitate during gravimetric analysis? First property or feature low solubility. The precipitate should have very low solubility in the solution. Second property or feature purity. The precipitate should be free from impurities. Third property or feature ease of filtration. The precipitate should be very easy to filter and wash to remove impurities. Last and very important question which guidelines are commonly referred for gravimetric analysis in the pharmaceutical industry. First USP general chapter number 1 to 5 1. Second ICH Q2 R1. Third FDS guidance. Fourth PHUR that is European Pharmacopoeia chapter number 2.1.7 and WHO guidelines. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.